It's called Ambrosia Maple. I'm going to engrave it on the Nova Plus, and I'll get you my settings today on LaserNug. Welcome back to the channel. It's early, lazy Saturday morning for me. In fact, I should be outside raking leaves right now, but it's kind of miserable out. So I thought I'd play around with the laser. I picked up this Ambrosia Maple from KJP Hardwoods here in Ontario. This is an absolutely gorgeous, stunning piece of wood. It's got these natural colors and striations throughout the grain, which are caused, I understand, from an infestation of some type of bug into the tree. And it provides a bit of a challenge when you're trying to get your settings because the wood grain, of course, is very inconsistent. You've got darker areas and lighter areas. So when you're trying to balance your settings, you kind of have to take both into account. I've been wanting to try this out for some time. So I've got a, just a simple sign design for a friend. I'm going to burn it on the Nova Plus today. And I thought you might be interested in seeing the results. Let's jump into Lightburn. I'll give you my settings and let's fire up the Nova Plus and get her done. I've just got this simple design for the sign. It's a 15 by nine. There won't be any cutting today, but let me get you my settings. For engrave on this Ambrosia Maple, we're at 750 millimeters a second, 70 and 70% power, low air. In other words, don't engage your high air, fill mode. And I'm gonna be using 800 lines per inch. And so like with any natural wood or any type of material, Trying to find that balance between speed and power can be a little tricky at first. That's why you probably noticed I actually, although I do it rarely, I actually did a material test card on this and then tested it across different parts of the grain and adjusted. The settings are giving me a nice engrave. It's deep, but not too deep. And most importantly, that combination does not char or burn the wood. It browns it or gives it a nice color. If you take a look at these two test pieces here, this one here that's much darker, this is the settings that I'm using today. That's the 800 LPI. This one here I did with the same speed and power, but I did it 400 LPI. Once I got my speed and power together, then in order to change the color of my engrave, I just adjust my LPI. And as you can see, you get a bit of a lighter brown on that engrave. And with the 800 LPI, I'm getting a much darker brown. Generally, they're the same depth. And I like the depth of that engrave. It's not too deep and it's not too shallow. As you know, I'm not a big fan of surface engraves. I like to get into the wood. So we're going to use our 800 today. So let's get our wood ready, get it into the Nova Plus, and let's see how it engraves. Early this morning, I just took a few minutes. I cut a 1 8 inch backer out of craft plywood. And then I put my quarter inch stock together for my ambrosia maple. Got her all glued up and I Think we're in good shape here. It's been drying for about an hour and a half. I took a little time yesterday morning, did a nice thorough cleaning through and through on the Nova Plus, did my mirrors, my alignment, the lens, did my rails, cleaned up the back, cleaned out the exhaust fence, and I think she's ready to do some work today. Just going to autofocus on this line up my piece and then we're ready to go. File is set. I've set my origin, auto-focused. I've framed my piece. I've calibrated my air and checked my low air pressure. I'm good to go. Let's run the job. Just as a reminder, if you're new to lasers, you never want to leave your laser unattended when it's running. You want to make sure that you're always at least in the vicinity and very close to it in case something happens. If you need to run in to grab a coffee, use the bathroom or whatever, remember you can always just simply press your start button a second time. It's a start pause button. And when you press it, what it's going to do is it's going to stop the laser. Run inside, do what you need to do, come back, when you press start again, it will continue on without missing a beat. It knows exactly where it stopped and it'll start right from that spot forward.
All right, we we're 57 minutes on that engrave. That was a 15 by nine. And let's take a look out of the laser. That's what we've got. You'll see I've got you know, quite a bit of residue on there or laser dust or debris, whatever you want to call it. And you can see from the shine, I've also kind of liquefied a bit of resin, but that's kind of par for the course with some of these natural woods, especially when you're using kind of a more powerful or aggressive setting. I know that some folks prefer to use a less aggressive setting of power and speed and maybe do two or three passes instead of doing it all in one. But at the end of the day, I've got to sand it anyways, and I want to get that chocolate brown. And the darker or deeper or both engrave that you're doing, the more residue you're going to find is going to come out of the wood. So I'm going to grab some 220 grit, take it outside, give it a sand, and I promise I'll bring it back and show it to you before I throw my finishing coat on it. Let's do it. Well, my friends, it's just about a wrap. I finished sanding it, cleaned it up, threw a 220 on there, no furries, and she's ready for finish. I love the finish or the look of this ambrosia maple, and I love how clean and how beautiful it engraves in that Thunder Nova Plus. Just about done. If you're wondering, I believe this was a hand-drawn image, and they took a picture of it, sent it to me as a JPEG, I was able to very easily use the trace function in Lightburn to get it to come up. I didn't have to play with it at all. It traced beautifully the first time. And then I just sized it to the wood. I was considering putting a border around this, but given that it's for a workshop and probably going to hang in a workshop, I thought that natural wood look uh, would be a little more fitting than trying to clean it up like a picture or use a picture frame or any type of border. But it came out nice. I'm going to throw a bit of finish on there. I'm using this stuff called Osmo. I also get this from KJP up in Ottawa. I've only used it a couple of times. I'm kind of new to it, but it's a wax finish. It goes on as a liquid, but the beautiful thing about it is it goes on clear. It does not discolor your wood, especially if you're using any type of exotic woods or this ambrosia maple or any type of wood product. It's not going to yellow it or discolor it. It goes on clear, just as clear as the wood looks right now. Thanks so much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed it today. By all means, have fun with your lasers. Try different materials. And especially if you're into woodworking or you love working with wood, try different types or species of woods in your Nova Plus. I think you'll find you'll get some really nice engraves out of that machine. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you again on the next one. I'm Gord Potter and you've been watching LaserNug. Cheers. <laughs>